Well, if you're a parent with a trans child and you live in Texas, now is officially the time to get out. And I know that it's easier said than done. Moving costs money, and a lot of people don't have the resources needed to flee the state. But now is the time to consider an escape plan because the situation has gone very bad in Texas to the point where if you are a loving parent and you care for your trans child, you will be treated as a criminal. And it's sad that it's come to this, but unfortunately, this is the reality of the situation. And I don't feel as if people in Texas who have trans children are safe. So Greg Abbott, the governor of Texas, has officially directed the state's Family and Protective Services to begin investigating all trans children in Texas and prosecuting their parents as child abusers. He has also instructed all teachers, doctors, and caregivers to begin reporting any trans students they see. Now, the order that he signed threatens criminal penalties on doctors, nurses, and teachers who fail to report, quote, abuse, which they are describing as gender-affirming care for trans youth. And that is explicitly laid out. So if you have a duty to report in Texas, uh, Texas is officially saying that you have to report trans youth to Family and Protective Services or you risk losing your job. So if you are a loving parent and you have a trans kid and you do what anyone with common sense would do and you seek out gender-affirming care for them, you are going to be treated as a criminal and a child abuser. And as a result, Child Protective Services might actually take your kid away from you. This is state-sanctioned kidnapping. And even if a court blocks this before anything bad happens, the message is very, very clear. We don't know what's going to happen, to be clear. But the message here is very clear. You are not welcome. And the state of Texas is trying to criminalize gender affirming care for trans youth. They're trying to eradicate the existence of trans children. And the result will be absolutely catastrophic. It's uh, it's like a punch to the gut seeing this. This is happening in the United States of America where certain Americans, because of who they are, are being hunted by their state. And this comes after we've heard the Republican Party for months screech at the top of their lungs about the state taking away the rights of parents when it comes to school mask mandates, when it comes to CRT, critical race theory. But now when it comes to gender affirming care, just being a good parent, they're treating you as a child abuser. And it's already difficult if you are a trans child. Your life will be a lot more difficult than your cis peers. But this is making it so that way if you're one of the lucky trans kids to have actually loving parents... Well, too bad for you as well, apparently, according to the state of Texas. As Trung Win put it, most queer kids have at some point in their childhood considered the possibility that they might have to go it alone in case their coming out goes badly. And now Abbott wants to deprive the trans kids who do have loving parents of their family support. Just evil. Exactly. Now, what does gender affirming care mean? specifically. We'll talk about what it means and what the experts are saying about gender-affirming care for trans youth, but this is really raw. Gender-affirming care can be something as simple as letting your child socially transition. Allow them to dress as the gender that they identify with more. Taking them to therapy. That's part of gender-affirming care. But what they're really trying to focus on here are uh, surgeries, which are incredibly uncommon for trans youth no trans child no minor is having bottom surgery um but really what they're trying to eradicate is the use of puberty blockers which are reversible by the way they're medically necessary and they allow children to kind of make their choice get on puberty blockers so that way you don't go through puberty and you kind of you have more time to make that decision they're trying to block that they're saying that's child abuse here it's truly just it's so insane. Um, now, before we talk about the specifics here uh, with regard to gender affirming care and what this means, I just want to provide families in Texas with some resources here. So if you are in Texas, the safest nearby state to go to is likely going to be Colorado and New Mexico. If you are a parent with a trans kid and are looking to escape these issues from ever popping up again, uh, well, any state in the dark green is the best. Take a screenshot, save this image all along the West Coast. I mean, you know, you are going to be pretty safe here. 
Now, legal help is costly, but um, Aaron is recommending that you try to contact the ACLU of Texas or Lambda Legal. Not a guarantee that they're going to be able to help you, but just something to kind of keep in mind. And if you have money to spare, please, please, please consider donating to a family in need who's trying to leave Texas but can't afford to. Uh, I want to direct you to a GoFundMe that I found of uh, a mother. Her name is Violet, and she has a daughter named Issa. And they are trying to get out of Texas as quickly as possible. I will link you to their GoFundMe down below. She acknowledges that this is not a safe environment to raise her child in. And now that she's essentially being hunted down by the state, she has to get out. Please, to all of my viewers, if you could chip in a buck or two, it will go to this family to help them get out of this terrible state. So let's talk about gender affirming care a little bit more. There's so much ignorance here. And the problem is that people don't know trans people they don't know anyone with a trans child so they just make a lot of assumptions based on their worldview based on their ignorance to this particular issue and this is something that is absolutely crucial for trans youth right gender affirming care is medically necessary and that's not me saying that that's what the experts say so last year when there were a ton of different anti-trans bills popping up in gop controlled states across the country they were trying to ban gender affirming care and then a lot of experts they spoke out. So here's what the uh, ACLU said. So they kind of took all of these uh, opinions from experts and they summarized it. So they say medical experts agree gender affirming care is medically necessary care that can be life saving for transgender youth. I'll read that again. Life saving. Trans youth know who they are. Multiple studies have shown that providing gender affirming care is life saving by dramatically reducing depression and suicidal ideation. So that's basically a summary of what the experts are saying. So here's what the American Academy of Child and Adolescent Psychiatry say. So they support the use of current evidence based clinical care with minors. AACAP strongly opposes any efforts, legal, legislative, and otherwise, to block access to these recognized interventions. Blocking access to timely care has been shown to increase youth's risk for suicidal ideation and other negative mental health outcomes. Now, here's what the American Medical Association says about this. The American Medical Association views these bills as a dangerous legislative intrusion into the practice of medicine and has been working closely with state medical associations to vigorously oppose them. In letters to legislators, the AMA has emphasized that it is imperative that transgender minors be given the opportunity to explore their gender identity under the safe and supportive care of a physician. Now, the American Academy of Pediatrics calls bans on gender affirming care, quote, dangerous. So the experts are saying it is absolutely important that a doctor, a parent, and their child make these decisions together. We don't allow the state to intervene and say no gender affirming care. Because again, gender affirming care is, is a really broad category. By just affirming your child's identity under Texas standards, you could be viewed as an abuser, which is insane to me. But let's look at some of the uh, the story. So when the Arkansas bill was being debated, there was a doctor that showed up to kind of testify and explain the effect that bans on gender affirming care would have on trans youth. And there's also a testimony from uh, a young trans man. And uh, take a look at what they have to say. I just want to speak from the heart for these kids who really are the bravest, brightest, Type A, high achieving, amazing children. I mean, I just can't go on enough about them. They're just amazing kids, okay? And they know who they are, and they know who they are from a very young age. Just after this bill passed the House, these kids heard about it. I've had multiple kids in our emergency room because of an attempted suicide. Just in the last week, uh, multiple. I've had multiple children. Do you know how many phone calls I've had to field in the last week of children calling me saying, Dr. Hutchison, if this happens, I'm going to kill myself. Multiple. So I guarantee you, if this bill passes, children will die. And I will call you guys every single time one does. This bill will cause human beings, trans beings, children's death. I can promise you that if a supportive process had been the norm when I was a child instead of this outdated rhetoric, the scars of attempted suicide will not adorn my body to this day. The trauma wouldn't live in my bones that I work to overcome to this day. So I beseech you to please vote against this murderous bill. The options for trans affirming health care should principally always be left to the people themselves and not legislators. Yeah. So um, the impact that this will have on trans youth is just it's going to be catastrophic. 
one more video that I want to show you. This is from a fourth grader. Now she's in fifth grade. This was recorded last year when Texas was considering a ban on gender affirming care legislatively. But since that didn't go through, now the governor's doing it. But listen to her story here. Hello, my name is Kaya Shapley. Um, I love ballet, math, science, and geology. I spend my free time with my cats, chickens, FaceTiming my friends, and dreaming of when I will finally meet Dolly Parton. I do not like spending my free time asking adults to make good choices. I've been having to explain myself since I was three or four years old. Texas legislators have been attacking me since pre-K. I am in fourth grade now. When it comes to bills that target trans youth, I immediately feel angry. It's been very scary and overwhelming. It just, it makes me sad that some politicians use trans kids like me to get votes from people who hate me just because I exist. God made me. God loves me for who I am and God does not make mistakes. You should be careful how you treat the least of these. Please just listen to me, hear me, try to educate yourselves, try to understand everybody. My mom has been giving everything she has to stand up for me. With these new things y'all are trying to do, we both are having to advocate for each other because you are now targeting a great mom and a great nurse. My mom needs her nursing license to take care of me and my siblings. Bullying is bad. Please stop. Don't make bad choices. It's never too late to turn it around. And I want to say thank you to those of you who are sticking up for kids like me. By the time I am in college, you will be celebrated in the history books. And now that little girl's mother is considered a child abuser when it's clear that that little girl is cared for well and she's loved by her parents. But because of Texas, now she's subject to abuse when she looks perfectly happy and healthy. It's just the politicians who are trying to make her miserable. It's, it's sickening. Attacks on trans people, one of the most marginalized communities in the world, are sick enough. But what we're seeing from Republicans is an attack on the most vulnerable, trans youth. And it's gotten so bad that they're trying to criminalize trans identities, criminalize trans youth, and essentially hunt down loving parents and possibly take their children away from them. Punish doctors and teachers who don't report this abuse. It's absolutely disgusting, and I have no respect for people who don't speak out against this. This truly is something that everyone should care about. This isn't just a trans rights issue. This is a human rights issue. And this is a violation of human rights. We're to the point now where people have to flee the state of Texas because of the assault on trans children. Let that sink in. This is where we're at as a country. And Texas isn't going to be the last state to do this. I hope that this gets defeated, but either way, if you live in Texas, this isn't going to be the last thing that they do to try to punish you for being a loving parent, so I suggest you get out if you can. Uh, I'll be sharing GoFundMes as they pop up. This is just, uh, again, I, I don't know how to even process this. This is a punch to the gut, and I can't imagine what families in Texas are going through right now after hearing about this news.